All right, Emily. We are at 2159 Mohican in Round Lake Heights, I believe. This is uh, a little bit further west. It's down past where Beth's parents were. We just came here from the downtown Gurney area and it took us like 15 to 20 minutes to get here from that Grand Avenue strip where everything's at. No? Jackie's already saying no because of the carpet on the stairs? Yeah, I mean, and like, wow, cuckoo. What's with the paint? Well, we can repaint. I know, but. Paint's never a deal breaker. Uh, real hardwood floors, they're not in the best condition. No washer and dryer. No washer and dryer. Oh, I, th I talked to him about that. I talked to Kevin Smith about that. Um, he said that we could buy a washer and dryer and they would re reimburse us over the first few months. Oh, well that's nice. Yeah. Um, little patio, directly into somebody else's backyard though. Which is not very well kept look. Right, and it's a small backyard. Which is cool because we don't want to take over a lot of lawn. But it's weird to have our small backyard back directly into somebody else's small backyard. There's golf clubs in this vacant house, which I think is sort of interesting. <laughs> Does that come with the house? Why wouldn't you have carried the cabinets all the way over? It's definitely missing two cabinets right there. Definitely missing two cabinets. Yeah. Um, still looks nice. Look at the floor. This floor is garbage. For 1600 I mean, This really? is a mother. It's pretty far west, too, for 1600 In this neighborhood, like, it's really buried in this neighborhood. We drove around for a long time. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm so this is where the washer, dryer, laundry would be if we had a washer, dryer in this house. Um, it's not even that old. It was like 2002. Yeah, it's just been road hard. Like what? Yeah, this is a 12 year old house that somebody beat up quite a bit. Unfinished basement. Let me go take a look. So unfinished basement is a huge plus for storage. <laughs> there's a there's a washing machine down here. Or a dryer. There's a dryer down here. And a dishwasher actually. I don't know what that means. I don't know that they're in any court any sort of working condition. There's also this giant block of foam, which is immensely strange. Uh, but this would be great for storage, to have an unfinished basement. The stairs are mighty beat up. They are a mess. Yeah. And look at this. I mean, you're gonna use a bottle of Windex to clean that. Yeah, we've seen we've seen that before on those lights. In one of the townhouses in uh, Hainesville, it was like that. Uh, the carpet would definitely need to be replaced, and if that was a reimbursement over time issue or something. But if we lived here, we'd replace all the carpets. But um, it's an open floor plan. Yeah, I should have I should have kept my shoes on. Silly me didn't want to ruin the carpet. What the fuck is this? This looks like a candle died over here or something. It's all like... Great shoes. Foreclosure? I no. I don't kind of, know what it is. Kind of feels it's... foreclosure y. It does feel foreclosure y. Like But actually the walls are in okay shape. Yeah, I mean there's a few dings here or there, but Yeah, a few dings here or there, but nothing that you nothing, could no, sand yeah. and patch. All right, so here is a room, and it's a good-sized room. It's probably a little bit bigger than the office we have now. I cannot believe you're asking 1600 for this. Here's the master. What is with the cuckoo paint again? That they decided to Do paint navy behind where their bed was, I'm guessing, or something. And this is where they had a treadmill. Somebody moved out of this place in a fucking hurry. A uh, huge closet. That's great. Yeah, and then... Uh, an extra one, so like his and her, hers and his. Yeah, uh, his and hers. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, or hers and hers, as I call them. Ton of closet space. About the most closet space I've seen yet. Um, bathroom's pretty good. It's a master bath, so. 
two sinks. Two sinks. And a soaker. We would use all that cabinet space. A soaker tub that we would never use. And uh, a good size shower, bigger than the one we uh, have now. What? Uh, no, I'm just yawning. Oh, uh, was a yawn? <laughs> yeah. That sounded like a fearful sigh. I thought you saw something. And it's um, cold in here. What if they didn't put the heat on? It's, it's definitely, it, it's been cold in all the houses so far. Except for that one uh, new bridge that we really liked. Maybe that's, yeah, one of the, maybe that's one of the reasons we liked it so much. The heat was on. The couch on that one and just like picking it up. That one was comfy. Uh, and here's the other room. Again, a good size. With screens. Definitely a good enough size to be an office and a guest room. Or it makes both. me wonder though, like what your landlord is going to be like if this is the condition that they're. Mm -hmm. Showing it in that they're asking sixteen hundred for. And look at that dust up there on that window. It's super I know that's really gross. high, but and I probably have dust like that at my house too. But yeah, the thing is, you call Molly maids and they don't deal with that yeah, shit. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, like I'm not showing my house. If I'm right. showing my house. I would clean the dust. I would too. Um, oh, downstairs there's another huge closet. So like the hall closet for downstairs is big as shit. I wouldn't have to get rid of any of my jackets and coats. And then here's the little bathroom. High ceilings in the bathroom, which is kind of nice. It makes it feel bigger. I'm sure you could decorate it too to keep that way. I like their shades, the, the Roman shades in here. I mean, but yeah. they're mm. kind of... I don't mind the Roman shades. I think broken. This room's nice. Like, I actually really like the floor plan. With the big kitchen, with the open dining area. You know what I'm not into? I'm not into kitchens that have, like, a little dining area and then a bigger dining area. I would rather just have one good dining area. Yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to having to have two tables. Right. Like, give me one kitchen table and I'm good. Uh, and I like this living room. This living room's great with the fireplace. Could, I, I mean, if I were you, you'd have to get a, when you get your washer and dryer, get a bigger refrigerator and put that one in the garage. Yes. Because that's well, ridiculous. Or in the unfinished basement or something. Yeah, that refrigerator clearly doesn't even fit in that space. <laughs> There's a lot of room on all the sides. It's kind of stupid. You can keep your boobs next to it. <laughs> or, your, or your random golf clubs that are still in this house waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Oh, we're having so much fun. All right, so this is Mohican. Mohican. Mohican.